we've uh, been developing an ERC over the last couple of decades, and a national energy model, a, a times model, and you and you wider. Um, uh, amongst other things, does economy-wide modeling, CGE modeling, and we've been linking these models um, together. And, and that enables us to, see, to look not only at the energy sector, but also on its impacts in the, in the broader economy. Well, we've already had great collaboration thus far, and I, and I think what it's, I expect more of what we've done in the past, which is that these tools, we don't just develop them because we like the tools, we do, but we want to answer policy questions, and these, these, the, the collaboration with WIDER gives us the ability to give more social in, um, information, and, and that's really important throughout the economy. So, for example, my own research interest in, in terms of climate change, and the speaker at the forum here was saying, how do we link that poverty and, and mitigation? Well, these linked tools can give us better information that if South Africa does mitigate, as we've undertaken to do, what does that mean for the poor, for the rich, for different sectors in the economy? And, and I hope that we can give good information for decision making, and, and that benefits hugely from the collaboration between ERC and WIDA. So there is a big choice on the supply side about we, we extremely dependent on coal, 90 plus percent uh, of our electricity comes from coal fired power plants and the choice set is pretty clear. It's um, either gas or nuclear or renewables or some mix of that. Uh, we've had since 1998, our energy policy has been to diversify supply and increase security in that way. We're still struggling to do that. Um, we also need to uh, increase uh, the energy efficiency and uh, demand side management um, at ERC. We have a, have a big program on that, in fact, trying to verify the reductions of both energy and greenhouse gas emissions through demand side management program. Um, those, are, those are the very large choices, I think, that we have to make. And then, of course, how we produce uh, energy in a low carbon way is uh, the big, uh, one of the big environmental challenges that we have. 